Hi guys, so I'd just like to do a quick overview of the CNC machine that I'm going to be building. Uh, it started when I saw this uh, granite plate come up on Craigslist near me. It was from an old university professor. It came out of uh, some semiconductor manufacturing research laboratory. Um, I haven't done a full proper inspection on it, but I'm going to assume that it is pretty darn flat. Here, I have a gauge block. You can see it's on zero there. I'll bring it over here. Yep. And it's, oh, maybe half a tenth, or half of a thousandth over five tenths. And then over on this side. Uh, yeah, about half a thou. So uh, right now it's sitting uh, on these two points, so it'll be deflecting down like that, which is fine, more than good enough for uh, what I'm going to be doing with it. It came with these um, uh, Schneeberger rails on it already. Let me find the logo. Don't know if you can really see that. Uh, but uh, German uh, cross, uh, you know, linear uh, cross profile, guide ray, something like that. Um, it already had this uh, this uh, stage on it, so I'm just going to use that as the table. And it's perfect because it does have these uh, threaded inserts epoxied in already. Um, so I was pretty excited when I saw this. I didn't rob the guy. I think I paid a, paid a fair price for it. Um, and since then, I've picked up some of these, uh, uh, these are uh, THK 25 millimeter linear bearings. Um, this uh, THK uh, ball screw came with the came with the table actually. Uh, it is a 14 millimeter uh, by like, four millimeter pitch, so it's a little smaller than I'd uh, like, but I think it will do fine, and it'll be much easier to just bolt that back on where it came from instead of you know, creating my own ball screw system. Uh, what else? So it had a bunch of electronic bits on it. Uh, I don't think it's worth my time to go through it and figure out what they do, especially without any documentation for it. It's pretty much junk. There's you know this motor, some bearing housing, some, some pretty cool stuff. I might, uh, might use these as uh, limit switches. And I'll just uh, run a plate through there and uh, I'll just home the machine for me. Got an encoder here. Might use that. Um, I also, also got uh, this is a uh, IKO LWLF42 bearing. So I have a, another one of these coming and that will uh, go onto the Z axis. Um, also, just got some. Nice bits of aluminum that I'll put on it. So for motors, I got these in from David at Neo 7 CNC. Uh, thanks, David. Pretty excited about these uh, NEMA 23 motors. Probably a good amount of power for it. Uh, still working on some CAD as far as the overall design. Uh, I'll probably have the plate sitting on a frame of uh, kind of 80-20 aluminum extrusion uh, sitting on the frame and then I'll have a, a, a gantry over top. The gantry will be stationary, this table will move under it. Uh, and for the y-axis rails, if I have those uh, gantries up here, if I have those sticking out further in this area, I can put a uh, tool changer but somehow over there you know I only have about 17 inches of travel this way uh, and then I'm 20 or so this way and then uh, those rails are one meter so those will come out all the way you know, over here and you know I can just have the z-axis come down change tools come back um, uh, yeah I'll be working on the CAD design more for it. I'll probably make a 
separate video for that or splice in some footage. Um, yeah, other than that, there's just, you know, a lot more money to throw at it. It's already taken quite a bit, so, uh, you know, that, that'll be coming later on. So, hopefully it goes. Yep, I have a um, Z-axis ball screw there already as well, so. All right, thank you.